Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 Concert of Europe mod, where we are playing as Mexico. Uh, when we last left off, um, yeah, we had lost Texas, and uh, now we're dealing with another civil war, this time in the U Yucatan, which is uh, seeking to break off as it did in real life. I suspect this is going to go much as it did in real life, and the Yucatan is going to remain part of Mexico, but this is a notable happening, so I'm just going to uh, show you the basics. I'm probably just going to cut ahead right to when we win this war. In the meantime, I have a feeling Washington is going to uh, is going to uh, balloon into a crisis, and this crisis is going to lead to a war. Probably, I think. I hope, because I'd sure like to get involved in into a war with the United States when I have Britain on my side. I have a feeling that one might go a bit differently, and we might even be able to take a bit of territory back. It'd be nice. Gonna go with less war exhaustion. Which is always the best choice. Well, not always. I trust you at least understand my basic meaning here. All right. So that's the uh, that's the Yucatan War over. I'm going to keep it a free state. That still has slave pops for some reason. Yeah, if it has a similar in, in, uh, implementation to HFM, I hope the United States pursues 54-40 or fight. Because I would I would very much like it to fight a war and lose. That'd be great for us. All right, the British have called us into a war for the liberation of New England. I'm guessing this is over that main border dispute. So they're deciding on you know, fuck it, we're just gonna take like everything, like all of this. If we get enough war score, maybe we can add uh, we can add a little bit for ourselves. Maybe take uh, maybe take Oregon, and then with that truce, with if the truce timers are ti are timed up well enough, we might at least be able to take a state from Texas. So you know what? Slightly against my better judgment, but with Britain on our side, I think. I think we can do this. Crossing my fingers, we will proceed. Immobilize. Let's boost consciousness where we can. Our consciousness is quite low, and we do want to overturn this uh, dictatorship at some point. Now, I'm probably not going to be able to get the brass cannons in time anyway. So, yeah, let's go for associationism. And, ah, yeah, we have an extra focus now. So let's... Um, We want to boost intellectuals as much as we can. And get our admin efficiency moving along. Let's see how our allies are doing. Well, they're off to a good start.
But yeah, this would be a very interesting divergence. Kind of not what I expected uh, Britain to be uh, getting on them for. Would have thought they'd be uh, looking west. But we can block them from the Pacific. That would be something quite worth doing. I had a war goal yet. I probably need to win at least one battle. in Alamosa. Need to build up some war score quickly, so I need a victory. We need to catch up to them as quickly as possible. Oh, they're attacking Salt Salt Lake City, are they? Get there as soon as we can. Looks like an even fight right now. Okay, we've turned the tables. All right. I'm hoping this is enough. Cut the United States down to size. Well, at least I, ha I have more time now.
All right, I have now added uh, Oregon as a war goal. And uh, speaking of Oregon, right now we've got a battle going on there uh, against the U.S. Let's uh, let's go reinforce that army right now. I, I feel as though our uh, our uh, offensive uh, in the west in the mountain region ha is is going quite well. Our counteroffensive against the United States against America's aggression in this region. So. <coughs> Yeah, there's another victory there. Uh, this this war's going really well. Uh, well enough, again, that I was able to add this goal. But, um, yeah, at the moment, there's not a whole ton to say about this particular uh, campaign. We're uh, moving up through Cal Colorado. Just uh, generally, uh, we've already full occupied our war goal of uh, Oregon. And I think that should be the last of their field army in this area. And, um... Maybe I should go take a look at the other fronts right now. As soon as I get done signing these army armies to wherever they're supposed to occupy. Anyway, I'll place a cut here. And as you can see right here, uh, the United States is getting their asses handed to them on the East Coast. I think Washington's about to be occupied. So, yeah. Going great. So in any case, I, I have eliminated one field army here, and I'm just slowly moving my way north at the mo or way eastward at the moment. Oh, shit. I should have been watching a bit more closely there. I was at least able to save some of them. But yeah, let's uh, fall back to deal with that army. Seems like a good plan to me. In the meantime, the British are holding up their end of the bargain. I suspect they'll have this... Ah! The war is over. Speak of the devil. We will not extend slavery in Oregon. And yep, here here we go. Boy, uh, I, I gotta say, it doesn't exactly look like a pretty extension. Probably won't even when we get Texas back. And it's a matter of when, because of the truth, thanks to the truce timer. Uh, what exactly were the terms? Cut the United States of America down to size, so they're going to have their uh, military size significantly curbed. Um, yeah, this is a, uh, yeah, we've, uh, our, our alliance with Britain has just caused a major shift in history. Uh, Britain has done what they hoped to accomplish in the War of 1812, but weren't able to. Um, we are serving the role that, uh, the, uh, that their planned, uh, Indian territory, their planned, uh, Native American, uh, buffer state was supposed to serve, serve, and, uh, curbed, uh, American expansion westward, at least for the time being. I think that makes for a great place to cut our episode. We've already had a major success here. I honestly, I was not expecting to accomplish anything like this this early in the game. I was expecting to have to build my industry first, to become a proper power first. Um, yeah, I did not think, um, yeah, the, uh, yeah, British New England. So yeah, Britain, uh, this was this was over the this they they decided to go go to war over the uh, dispute of the bit of forest in Maine, um, which uh, yeah determined how the border looks. So now the uh, I always have thought of the United States as kind of this weird homunculus. Not, Florida is not so much a dong as it is like a leg, and then uh, like I guess Baja is the other leg. So that's not part of the United States, but um, like Texas is the is like the nutsack. And um, Louisiana is just like this, uh, like the 
Mississippi's the urethra, sort of. And then there's the head, it's mane. Um, yeah, I probably should... Uh, I, I, I mean, everybody, I think, like, has kind of, like... Ideas of what a country looks like, kind of, like, it, it, it resembles a sort of homunculus, I think, anyway. But that might be a bit too revealing of myself, I probably should not have said that. Um, still, it's frank and revealing content like that, which is why you are all my viewers, why you're all here. So... With that episode uh, now finished, I think we're going to have to leave it here. Uh, I have been Maricotti. You have been you. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Uh, maybe comment on uh, what, uh, what, what sort of monsters you think uh, other countries look like. And uh, I will see you next time.